channel i do hope you're doing well you've got a very sleepy shannon lee i'm not gonna lie i have just run a bath and fallen asleep and the pain of me to get up at the moment my legs are not doing well um it was very very excruciating but i am hungry so i need to get this dinner sorted because it's going to take a while and as you can tell by the title we are doing a lancashire lamb hot pot so you're probably thinking last month we had an irish stew which was lamb we're having lamb now there's going to be lamb later it's the month of easter my lovely so i'm going to try and get as many like lamb dishes as i can fingers crossed we can have a nice big lamb shoulder for easter haven't seen any in tesco's yet so i'm going to be on the hunt i need to call up my butchers to see if they're having any shoulders in plenty of lamb legs i much prefer a shoulder you know so we're going to have a lot of lamb there's going to be a baking video coming as well which i am very excited about hopefully i can't mess this one up with the icing but yeah we're going to be doing a good old bbc good food lancashire lamb hot pot so we are sticking to the recipe to a tea apart from one thing we couldn't get any kidneys don't know why tesco's and asda said that they didn't sell them so i mean is that not a thing you can buy now and i didn't have time to go to the butchers this morning so what i am going to do we had a few rashes of bacon in the fridge to use up i'm just going to add a little bit of chopped bacon in but apart from that we are good to go like we're going with the worcestershire sauce i have never ever had worcestershire sauce so i don't know what it's supposed to taste like so a little bit worried on that and then it says to have dripping or butter but i'm going to do a mixture of dripping and i'm also going to put a little bit just of goose fat when the lid comes off the potatoes to like crispen them up a bit you know so as i say pretty much sticking to it to a tea you will see mama g throughout the video but yes let's get an overview of the products to show you get comfy sit back hope you enjoy it i will of course leave the recipe down below as always and i'm going to start browning off the meat and then mama g can help me with the veg <laughs> somebody ought to come along and let you down so you could see my side and how it feels to hit the ground how can you say that nothing's different, that we should pick up the pieces? Somebody ought to come along and let you down. If you still wanted to be loved, you should have never let me go. Hope somebody will break your heart and leave you crying on the floor. You let me down, I won't do this all again Even if I try, I can't forget it If you still wanted to be loved You should have never let me go Somebody said it should be easy to forgive We all make mistakes and no one lives without sin but why'd you have to break my heart? I wasn't ready to let you go yet and Now you're standing at my door Thinking that I'm gonna let you in But if you wanted to be loved You should have never let me go Hope somebody will break your heart So you can feel this pain and know What it's like to be left out in the cold Standing by yourself, no one to hold If you still wanted to be loved You should have never let me go If you still wanted to be loved, you 
Suddenly started to get a lot warmer once the uh, cooking was on, obviously. So now is my turn to do the slicing of the potatoes, which you have to make sure they are thin because you need them to cook evenly. And no one wants a chunky potato on their hot pot. So can you see that, my lovelies? They're all pretty much identical you just slice the ends off but always still keep the ends because they're always handy if you've got little bits in the pot to like fill up so oh maybe i should have got a bigger knife this should be all right though actually we'll go with the bigger knife just because you definitely want them all the same size so yes as i say the only deviation we've had is we put bacon instead of the kidneys because we couldn't get it and then you would have seen there it doesn't tell you when to do your seasoning so I just added all of the seasoning in when we put the bay leaves in and salt pepper mixed herbs garlic all of the usual bits you know. so I need to concentrate oh god and she's almost just sliced the potato and then I've got two dishes out because I don't quite know what one the mixture is going to feel so we've got both out and we just see how it goes because this should do us a good couple of days oh lord let's get chopping <laughs> I would say that I would just pour this in, but I'm in too much pain, my love is all right. So we're gonna ladle it in and see how it goes. <laughs> Delightful. Can you see that, my lovelies? Let's call Mama Jean and see what she thinks before I start putting everything on top. Mum! What do you think before I start putting stuff on top? Oh, yes, lovely, lovely. Give it a whiff. It smells well nice. All the bay leaves and that. <laughs> Very good, viewers. Very good. I think this should be enough to show you. Do I need to try? No, we're not going to have any tasting. Oh, oh. <laughs> I think oh there'll be enough potatoes. Yeah, so you've cut the ends off, haven't you? It's fine because it would take them oh, time to oh, crisp them up. Very thirsty, very thirsty. We've got a bit of fizz in there if you want. Mm -hmm. We can have the one from Home Bargains. Oh, will we be able to get the top off this time? That one's normally alright, not like the Mother's Day one. Nah, let me put a bit of a uh, seven up in this one. So yes, this uh, house is well and truly in full lamb mode. Oh, love a little bit of lamb. The only thing is very pricey. But what happened there? you've knocked something over, mother. No. You've knocked the salt lid. Yeah, and I'm looking, where has it gone? I heard it drop. And then what I'm going to do is, because I want to do another layer of potatoes, it says to put dripping, but I don't think the dripping's going to go on. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of goose fat so then they can start to go nice and crispy because you've got to cover it for an hour and 20 I believe and then you take the lid off to put it under the grill or just take the lid off and put it without the lid on basically so I don't think I'm going to put that lid on because last time if I remember correctly it got stuck to the potatoes so I think I might just we've got tin foil a little bit there. We'll use the last bit of tin foil for this. Yes. 
Posting pictures on the gram so other people know that we're more than friends. And ever since you came around, I've never been sober. Always in my head. Met you at a time when I was so low. Went from just talking to taking you home. I don't wanna go back to who I used to be. So if you ever you won't let me go so me and mama g are gonna watch just something before peaky blinders because it's the final um gordon ramsay's future food stars we're gonna watch that because it's only an hour but how good does that look i was going to do some lamb actual thick gravy over the top but because we had stock with the irish stew i said we'll give it a go because i didn't mind that i have got my mojito flavita bubbly mm -mm -mm. oh i love this absolutely love this mm. delightful i've also just booked in for some more gym classes you're probably thinking shannon you've still got five little rounds of bread i'm not cutting everything back okay all i've had today is some oats this morning and half a pack of what's it's all day that's good for me so let's bring you in a little closer shall we you'll see mama jean here in a moment and i just want to taste the stock because i say we put a lot of seasoning in this Oh, that's good. Potato. Oh, you know what? I might be a convert. Oh, I have the bay leaf. Let's not eat that. I might be converted to not always having stuff with gravy. This is nice with the stock, right? Bit of meat and carrot, fruit and veg, fruit and veg, meat and veg. Oh my god, that lamb is so tender. Oh my god. I actually don't mind the stock. Like, it would be better with thick gravy, but... It's not bad. As I say, when we had the Irish stew, that was just stock. Weren't any problems with that. Have to get her seat ready, otherwise she falls over. She's only got half a little bit of the baguette where I've got, like, little rounds she's got a good portion there oh, please do oh, not the cat. please do not drop it on uh, the new bedding who makes the bed Shannon <laughs> but it's new bedding that's why I've yes, got to be yes. careful and I'm just thinking wait a minute wait a minute sit down I said we was going to put what's that red bit there, there flat that's off I did hoover I said we was going to put gravy on it but thought we'd stick with the stock because this is what we had on the irish stew weren't it just yes. stock yeah. we'll get your first impression because i've already stuffed my face with mine oh i didn't know whether i needed a fork and a spoon or whatever the lamb's so soft the potatoes needed a bit more crisping didn't they no but then or how do we get do it them? yeah but then if you do it too crispy sometimes they burn Oh, you've just dropped all the gravy on your top. Oh, don't worry, yes. It's old. The stock's actually quite seasoned mm. nicely. I put loads of herbs in it. I was going to say, the gravy's got nice mixed herbs, is not it? So I'm not going to rub it because we want to stuff our face. And I say, we're going to watch Gordon Ramsay. So, yeah, time lapse as usual. <laughs> Well, we have two empty bowls. 
And if I weren't on my health kick, I probably would have had another bowl because it was very, very nice. What would you give it out of 10? Nine. Nine. Why the nine? <coughs> what do you think it needed for a 10? Uh, the potatoes a little bit more crispy. See, now I like my potatoes like that. They had a bit of a bite But the to juice it. was nice, even though it was a little bit thin. It had nice flavours. We're getting used to having, like, more of a stock-based stew as opposed to, like, a thick gravy stew. But we're going to have to start having brown bread now, Jen, and we're not so much butter. Well, I said I've done good today. Yeah. I haven't eaten much, so that's why I still had five little rolls. But they weren't double-sided butter. They was only butter one side. So I'm watching the calories on that thing. Yeah. But yeah, very, very nice. The lamb was very tender. I think it definitely would have been nice if we'd have had some kidneys or liver we was going to put in. Yeah. But the bacon made a nice yeah, little yeah, addition yeah. to it. The only thing is, when we do we shoes or hot pots, yeah, we normally put more veg in it. Like, that literally had carrots and onions, which is apparently the traditional way. I will leave the recipe down below. It was the BBC Good Food Lancashire Hot Pot. And apparently that's the traditional way. But we would normally have, like, peas, mushrooms. More onions. Yeah, like, we'd have a lot more veg in there. Maybe corn. No, not corn. We'd definitely have peas and mushrooms, onions. Then you'd have your potatoes on top. Yeah. So, yeah, but I really enjoyed it. As I say, I could polish off another bowl, but I'm not. I'm going to be good. Um, BBC Good Food. Very, very much love my BBC Good Food. The next uh, cooking video will be the baking video, which you can't say what it is. It's a surprise. We've got the ingredients for it. That's BBC Good Food as well. But I think we're going to have to adapt it because I don't think I've got the right tin. So it might be that we go back to the big loaf tin, what we've done the blueberry cake in. Do you want me to get a loaf tin? No, no, because it's a different style oh. of tin that we need for this particular cake. Oh, right. So that's your little clue. It's going to be a cake. But yeah, that will be coming next week, I think, or possibly the week after. I'm not entirely sure. That is going to be a very much treat me cake because it is going to be quite calorific. But hey ho. So yes, I think all in all, that is a very good Lancashire hot pot. We haven't had a hot pot in ages either. I was trying to think the last time I'd done a hot pot. What did you do the other day with lamb? That was the wrong, it? Irish stew, weren't oh, it, yeah, with the yeah. pearl barley? Yeah. I think the last time we had actual hot pot, we had it with thick gravy in the individual ramekins because they all overflowed. Oh, I remember in them, that. in them little tiny pots. Yeah, yeah, that was probably like last autumn or winter. So it's been a good while since we've yeah. had it. But yes, I thoroughly enjoyed that. We are now going to, well, Mum's probably going to take the bowls out and bung them in the sink because Peaky Blinders, the last episode tonight. We must watch. Yes. And I just hope it's a good one because I feel this season's been rushed and I didn't want to think that because I feel like it's uh, Game of Thrones all over again. Oh, she's already off. So I guess we need to uh, round up this video. If you did enjoy the video, guys, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. And as I say, leave me a comment. What would you put in a hot pot? How did you think it went? Oh, she's saying bye. Um, yeah, and are you got any uh, lamb recipes upcoming for Easter? Or are you not really a fan of lamb? But yes, take care. Look, she's trying to poison me, viewers, with these oh, leaves. Yeah. I got both of the bay leaves in the end, so I made the surprise. But yeah. Take care, stay safe as always, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.